Hi, my name's Carl Newman. I'm an entrepreneur, coach, writer and speaker. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how to start a persuasive speech. So I'm going to focus on those two elements separately, how to start and how to be persuasive. The most important part is the planning. Whenever you're making a speech, it's really the planning and the preparation that's important beforehand. Um, I have a little process that I recommend that you use that's really simple but also really powerful. It has three elements. Um, the first bit is just get focused on what the outcomes are. What are the outcomes you want from making your speech? What is it that you want to happen? What is it you want people to go and do? Um, the second piece, and almost more importantly, is your stake. There's lots of different ways to look at your stake, but it's really about, you know, what are you taking a stand for? What's most important for you? Um, what is it that you want to kind of really have people believe in? Uh, the, the important part about your stake is it's the bit that gets you emotionally engaged and fired up about what you're talking about. So when you're kind of planning that, if you're not having it fire you up when you're kind of writing it and reading it, it's not a stake. The third part, and also equally important, is the impact. What is the impact you want to make on the people you're talking to? How do you want them to feel? What do you want to be kind of going on inside their brains, inside their emotions, whilst you're talking? So by using that kind of structure of stake, outcomes and impact to plan your speech, you're going to kind of be really be set to be persuasive and have a strong message. So the second bit is then how do you start? It's really about planning and rehearsing, and especially planning and rehearsing in the beginning. You want to focus on starting strong, so make sure you've kind of got yourself psyched up and relaxed at the same time before you start, and then really start with something that's going to grab people's attention. Um, there's a many different ways you can do that, but it's really about thinking about what can I do to grab these people's attention right from the beginning. And then the last part about being persuasive is being able to really read your audience, to kind of sense out into the room, whether it's 10 people or 10,000 people, as to what the energy is, what's actually happening, and being able to match what you've planned in your speech to kind of the energy and what's going on in the room at the time when you're talking. So you're able to maybe ad lib or go off script a little bit to meet what's needed and what's actually happening in the room when you're talking. So if you'd like to find out a little bit more about speaking and how to make a powerful impact when you speak, come and visit me at kylenewman.com. That's www.kyle-newman.com.